Hi, Joe Paprocki from Loyola Press for a pop-up catechesis. So I'm taking my wife out for a very nice dinner this evening, and, and I want the car to be nice and clean. By cleaning the car and then cleaning up myself, I communicate to my wife that spending time with her is not an afterthought, but it's a priority, and that she's someone very special. You know, it's not uncommon for Christian parents to encourage their kids to clean their room or wash their face and hands by saying cleanliness is next to godliness, as if they were quoting the Bible. Well, even though this phrase is not from the Bible, it contains a lot of truth. Cleanliness is most certainly a value that we strive to instill in our children. We teach them how to wash their hands and face and groom their hair and clean up their room and help clean up the house. So how is cleanliness next to godliness? Well, scripture tells us that our God is a God of order, not chaos. It also tells us that God delights in making all things new. So when we clean ourselves and our surroundings, we indeed make all things new. And thus, we imitate God. You can help your children to develop the value of cleanliness by emphasizing that it has many positive consequences. In addition to our rooms and ourselves simply looking better, cleanliness promotes a positive mindset and encourages optimism. It promotes a sense of achievement and it reduces stress. Cleanliness improves our spiritual health by showing that we care about ourselves and that we want to reduce negativity. It also builds a sense of responsibility and it promotes beauty, which of course is an attribute of God. Of course, cleanliness promotes physical health by killing germs, as we have learned from the experience of COVID and cold and flu seasons. So cleanliness is not just being fastidious or persnickety. It is really and truly a way of participating in the life of God who makes all things new. For Pop-Up Catechesis, this is Joe Paprocki. Until next time, God bless.